for with the 22. Thank you for sharing shots that you're editing. Very exciting. I enjoyed your opinion on JVC cameras on PGL. I'd like to hear more about the technical aspects if that's interesting for you to do. Yeah, the uh, <clears throat> there's something about these things that, that can't be replicated by filters, and the good stuff is CCD cameras, tube cameras. Um, tube cameras are <clears throat> tube cameras are cool, but they're all <clears throat> they're all broken. So if you get one if you get one on eBay, the image is going to be totally destroyed and not at all what it looked like originally. So if you get into tube cameras, you're going to need to become an engineer. The holy grail is the uh, Sony HDC 300 tube camera. It's an HD tube camera. I would pay a lot of money for one of those, um, but they didn't make a lot of them because it was at the tail end of the tube camera era, the beginning of the HD broadcast era. Um, the ultimate CCD cameras, the Sony F35, I think. Um, ultimate meaning like cleanest, best image. Um, which is what a good amount of ex the good shots in Ecstasy of Car, the the bicycle episode, which is, I don't think is out yet, but that was shot on on an F thirty five. The F thirty five is effectively effectively produces the same image as an Alexa, just with a lower dynamic range. Um, the Ari sensors are really great. <clears throat> red sensors are bad. I've never seen a red a, a image produced on a red sensor. That was any good <clears throat> they fucking you can tell that look, it's just f photo sh nerd shit photoshop 4k 8k animal photography nerd shit that belongs in the trash cell phone shit sony venice kind of looks okay uh the a7s3 and fx3 are acceptable they still look bad but that's what we're shooting world piece three on uh two on um and lenses make the biggest difference the lenses you uh want you want to rent some panavisions or if you have a, a lot of money, you could buy some Hawk lenses or what's the fucking, uh, is it, I think it's like FJS International. Let me see real quick. Um, lenses make a much bigger difference than sensor does. <clears throat> and there's uh, everybody on YouTube and everybody making tutorials is going to want to hope, pray, believe, wish that you can have budget anamorphic lenses like these Atlas anamorphic lenses or the Surui <clears throat> anamorphic lenses, but they don't look good. And you'll never, you can't have a, the cheapest good looking lens is like $20,000. These ingenue lenses are good. Um, the pink band means they're newer. The older ingenue lenses are even better. Um, the ingenue zoom, the 25 to 250 is incredible. Um, we have one of those, it's for the zooms that were used in the, you whipped my wife, the one we shot in the vineyard. Um, unfortunately, it's the lens. The lens is kind of old, so it the, it, the uh, <clears throat> it's it's not quite <clears throat> as clean as you would want. Um, but man, the ultimates are these Atlas ones are garbage, but they're still expensive. So stay away from those. But the Panavision lenses are so good. I wanna. I just gotta find a way to to buy some. They're a million dollars for a set. Rocky Stream with the 20 Sam and Jet. What are your favorite moments you shared with Brandon Buckingham? Um, the first one that comes to mind for me is when we were um, we were taking the RV trip, and <coughs> everyone was tired, so I kind of got um, volunteered to drive this insanely big RV mm. from Ohio all the way back to Providence. Mm. And there was one point in New Jersey where I hit a speed bump, like, really ignorantly. And I looked in the rear view, and Brandon was in the back bedroom bed, like, literally, like, bouncing, like, this high up, like, over and over on the speed bump. And he was still asleep. Damn. Uh, it's just a little vignette moment that uh, is the first one that comes to mind. I think mine would be uh, <coughs> outside at Big Six, which is that black boxing gym which is, it's like literally like being in hell in the summer if there, when there's 30 people in there. And uh, to, to get space, you have to like make space. Yeah. It's such a small space and it's, it's like being in hell. Um, and uh, when, you, when you go outside, even though it's still hot outside, like when you, get a, you finally get air, yeah. it's, f f it's such an incredible feeling. 
You and think you're in heaven, but you're just in like you're just in like ninety degree like Providence. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and then being being outside there, we did some like out some workouts out in the alleyway with like this the, just the sun and like just suffering heat. And uh, Brandon threw up a bunch of times, and it was uh, just shared misery was uh, something awesome about that that I really miss. <clears throat> Matthew Carr. These are good lenses, Hawk lenses. I think that um, Training Day was shot on Hawk lenses. Go ahead. Uh, Matthew Carr says, hey, just want to say thank you. Hide Wars really helped me get my mindset right and get my act together throughout my 20s. Much love to you, big dog. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Glad you were, glad it helped. It's an OG there. Training Day, was it shot on Van, uh, Vantage? I got, I got to hit these two before they go away. Jordan with the 20. I have a <coughs> Infinity Q50. I honestly love it. What Crash do you think it. about those? Don't hold back. Love you, Sam. Rip it good. Just uh, if you if you if you're happy if you're uh, happy as a pig and shit, just that's that's a good thing. You know, you can be you go eat some uh, McDonald's, yeah, and just be satisfied. That's a good thing. It's a good be happy with that. Yeah. Just make sure you don't overpay for your next piece of shit that you're happy as fuck about buying. Like when you go look at the up, when you go look to upgrade to an Audi Q5 or whatever, just make sure you stay reasonable because none of that, none of that stuff is worth the money. It's all garbage junk. Bronze <coughs> with the 20 Australian. I'm a 43 year old idea creator and entrepreneur. I'm constantly innovating. Should I get a job? No, you're gonna want to innovate more, create yeah. more, ideate more. These are the these are the lenses right here that were used to shoot Training Day. These are really cool. Actually, no, the C series anamorphic. But uh, the V-Lite anamorphic are similar. You could you could have a set of those for <coughs> 140. Is there a way to sort by cost on here? This guy's website is so maniac. Junior Ortega, <coughs> 15. Hey Sam, how do I send a super chat? <coughs> we gotta work. We gotta work on instructions for people. Brief introduction with the Ted gifted memberships. Damn. Thank you, man. Thank you, brief. Thank you very much. That's the second batch of memberships you've just given out today. Are you feeling charitable? <coughs> Don Lamoni with the 25. Hey, Sam, what is the info for the career business discord? I have plenty of successful pharmaceutical distribution businesses, and I would love to network and talk with the MDE lads. Get in there, man. It's M MDE.TV. It's the discord tier. Hop in there. Get it going. If you're a, a Gumroad sub, it's it's just uh, you upgrade your membership yeah. on MDE.TV. Look up, then, look up Gumroad Manage Membership if you don't know how, and that'll take you to the page where you can uh, <coughs> upgrade from the, from the 750 to the Discord tier. Mo's Hava Java. Welcome to Severe Beast, man. Thank you for joining. Hava Bamba. Now you get to look at all the streams. Yeah. All access, man. Thank you. Uh, uh, there's some confusion. I want to address this real quick. There's some confusion on uh, where you see all the streams if you sign up and join. On uh, So you go to Sam's channel, the Perfect Clubs channel, this channel here, and then you <coughs> see like videos, shorts, live, all those tabs. There's a fourth tab that says member uh, members only content, like member content. Uh, and you click that tab, and then there's all of our streams. Did you guys play with a banana here? Yeah, we want to play with the banana, Julian. That sounds good. Get it flopping around. Touch oh, it. Girl, that's pretty cool. Touch it, grab it. I want to touch it. it. I want to smell you that smell banana. It and grab it. You touch it. That's that's great. It looks like a fun <laughs> banana toy. It's not a toy. It's a lifestyle <laughs> enhancement. Be right back. Mm. Hold up. We have more. Oh, I can't wait to not be sick. Uh, dyslexia. Thank you for joining Freak Monster. <coughs> I think I remember these being beautiful right here. These Technovision joints.
What's that, the sticky banana game? Nah, it's the sticky egg game. Oh, you got so sticky eggs? Yeah, it doesn't really work, though. I heard that's the stinky egg game. I got an MRI, and this is what it looked like. Oh, cool. One peanut floating around? <laughs> One yellow egg, funky egg. <clears throat> is that from Japan? Nah, this is from the mail. Oh. <laughs> I like that you thought it was from Japan. <laughs> Chodíte do banky? Čup, čup. A mávate s tým občas problém? This looks so weird. It's just a shitty little bank commercial that was shot using Panavision anamorphics for some reason. Prejdite aj vy na online banking vyššej triedy od Unicredit Bank. This egg is fake? Not for real. I realized something kind of crazy. What? Uh, Trump indicted. Trump getting locked up right as they release Andrew Tate. Hmm. He made a quick trade. <coughs> English, yeah. I haven't figured out It's a trade. Yet, They're doing the trade off. Here goes Young Thug never getting out of jail. Yeah, I thought Young Thug was going to be a part of this transaction. Yeah, he should have been. Hmm. <coughs> hey Jordan, welcome yes. to Severe Beast, man. Couple of Thank years, you. But so oh. intense. All the XP. Ronso says, "Okay, I had this idea for right. YouTuber boxing, but it's in space, and I think it's the next big thing to shake up the game, basically." Are you fapping? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Can you do that noise. On That's what I want people to think I'm fapping. I'm really just reading. Uh, Doofus Dan says, I know this is kind of a dumb question, but can you do a quick walk yeah. walkthrough of buying Bitcoin? Best wallet slash exchange slash dangers of keeping it on an exchange, etc. Whoa. Fire. Fire. on Coinbase or Gemini. We got <clears throat> Rosen with a 15. Shalom, Sam. I want to know if you have any tips for aspiring comedians. Uh, I don't know how to make a persona like you've done in stand up. Uh, what do you do to prepare? Stand up's hard. Stand up is um, I'm not very good at it, but I know what I know what would be needed to get good at it, <clears throat> which is just practice, which is brutal. Like going, you have, to, you have to go out and bomb at stand up and have people like hate your guts yeah. and say the wackest shit ever that's not funny. Um, and I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty funny person. I'm a paid comedian. I make money doing comedy. Uh, but I know that if I were to go out, if I were to go out and make a serious try at stand up, I would need to do it in a, in a disguise with a fake name yeah. in smaller in smaller venues because that training phase is so nasty. Uh, you know, you you say shit that's just the worst the the worst shit you've ever said, <clears throat> and it's the worst because it's not funny, and you think it's you think it's worth saying in front of a group of people. It really is like every everything that Rogan or whoever else says about bombing doing comedy. It's like getting cold water dumped on you with your cock exposed. All that all that stuff is true. It's really uh, really tough, but you have to. That's how you get good at it. If you want to get good at comedy. You have to go make, make video if you're doing video-based comedy. Do writing if you're doing writing-based comedy. And do stand-up if you're doing stand-up comedy. Just go, you have to go do it, though. <clears throat> um, and it's, it's, a, it's like a muscle. The extent to which you're not doing this stuff, like I'm streaming. Uh, like World Peace 2 is going to be pretty good. I think it'll be really good, but... Uh, you know, if I if I had been doing only sketch comedy since 2015, it would be five times better. Like me, Nick, Charles, if we had been f actively flexing those muscles and like yeah. making s making sketch comedy as opposed to streaming podcasts, all the other shit, we it, it would be it would be even better. Um, and it's because it's a muscle that you have to train, you have to you have to flex it. <coughs> Mr. Motorcat says, haven't checked yet myself, 
But would you know if I have to upgrade my Gumroad membership for the Discord tier if I paid for the year-long package? Also, here's my money. Um, I think you probably do, but I don't know how that works. Yeah. You might have maybe maybe message support at gumroad.com and ask them if there's an easy way to upgrade having already paid for the year or whatever. <coughs> They respond kind of quick, though, right? They they are responsive, yeah. Okay. There we go. Patrick Dunlap with the 20. Sam Tripoli had many kind words about you, in his, uh, about you, Sam, in his latest Tinfoil Hat podcast. Oh, nice. Huge fans of both you and would you be – of you would be an unbelievable episode if you ever did an episode on his show. Didn't I already do that? Yeah, you did do that. Yeah, I did that. It was – it is an unbelievable episode. You got to go check it out. <coughs> Nathan Dendinger with the 20. I want my vehicle to sound like Sebulba's pod racer from Star Wars Episode 1. Yeah. I like that, um, the new, uh, hybrid car bump start sound. 